okay but i told y'all that i was gonna get thick and y'all was gonna be able to tell me nothing like i'm thick period <laughs> What's up, my beautiful babies? I I feel like I'm not focused. Okay. I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. You do not understand. And I know I say that, y'all, you know what? I'm not even gonna go through that because y'all are tired of me and I'm tired of me. You know what? And I also have to get used. Okay, so boom, real quick, right? I got a new camera, obviously. I'm also not in Los Angeles obviously that will be another video i just have to get used and i don't even know if i'm focused like okay whatever i have to get used to this just got a new camera the canon g7 x this is my baby i'm so happy but that's not what the video is about today so just be just just bear with me because i'm not used to a viewfinder so i keep looking at the viewfinder and i know you're not supposed to do that so just 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 bear with me so as you can see from the title, I am here to talk to you guys about gaining weight. Now, I'm not going to go super into detail because I'm taking a Pedamin again and I have two videos dedicated to a Pedamin and the details and stuff like that. So we're not getting into all that. I will link them below and you guys can watch them first. But that was my first experience when I took it in 2016. So um, I lost all that weight. I mean that was forever ago i was like 20 or something whatever i'm 23 now so that's forever ago lost that weight um my weight it it kind of stayed at like a 120 it stayed between 125 and 130 but when i moved back um to philadelphia from los angeles i was like 120 ish or something like that but it's weird because i didn't look like i was 120 like i looked like i was still kind of closer to 130 but when I moved back to Philadelphia, I was 120. Okay, so I am taking the pills. Hold on. Babies. Okay. Right. These are this is what the pack looks like. Um I started taking them again. What's this month? Oh well, I don't even know. Okay, it's April. It's the end of April, right? We're on lockdown, y'all. I don't know what day it is. I don't know. I don't know anything. So I started taking them last month, March. Yeah. So after like, um, it was like the third week in March when I started taking them. So yeah, probably about a month ago. Exactly. When I started taking them again, y'all know I only do the pills. I do not do the syrup. I tried to do the syrup when I was in LA, but it's just not practical for me. I don't like syrups and stuff. Like I felt like it tastes like medicine no everything i take is in pill form i do not do liquids so and i to me personally as you guys can see from my results the pills work just as great as the syrup to me i don't know maybe the syrup works faster we're on lockdowns so i don't really care how fast it works i just know i'm gonna be thick once outside open back up okay so um i'm gonna put pictures of like the scale but then that's still okay so right now i think i'm about a good maybe like 132 and i'm saying that because i bought a scale and it has just been completely wrong like it was this one day i stepped on a scale and it said i was 120 and then i stepped on it literally like three minutes after and it said i was 130 i was like mm, no so i'm maybe about a good like 132 ish because i feel like i look a little thicker than what i did when I did it in 2016 like I feel like my weight my weight gain then was noticeable but I feel like now it's super noticeable like I do not look how I did before and of course I will insert before and after pictures for you guys but yeah I've been taking the pills for about a month this is my third well this is technically my fourth pack but I have my third one that's in my bag but this one is out so I don't really care which pack I open up just as long as the pills are going so so far i've taken two packets of those and i have two more and i'm thinking um once i'm finished with these two i may get another two but only to maintain it after the fact because i don't want to get like super duper thick especially because like there are dresses and stuff that i've retried on now like i do that every time i'll retry stuff on and it's tight on me so I don't want to get too thick because I'm not trying to buy a whole new wardrobe. I'm trying to just fill out all of my clothes, right? So let's talk about what I be in. Now, disclaimer. This is what work for me. 
I am not telling you to go do this. You guys have asked me what I've done, so this is what I'm telling you. And I'm saying that because I really didn't eat healthy um, during this. I do see a lot of videos and people are like, oh, you know, I eat healthy, diet, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't do any of that stuff. I'm just gonna be real. When I first started taking it, I tried to be healthy and then literally, okay, so my first week taking these pills, I wasn't really that hungry. We're not gonna get into the side effects. Y'all know drowsiness, whatever the first three days um but the first week I just wasn't that hungry and I was like okay why because I felt like when I took it before I was like I was hungry off the back and this time I wasn't so I was just like okay is it working like is it not guys that second week in I could have literally ate a fucking house like I was so hungry like that second week I maybe spent almost $200 in food because I was just so hungry and I wanted everything like I was ordering from GoPuck, Postmates, DoorDash like going to get food you get what I'm saying like it's the only time I left the house is to go get food and my mom and everybody has just been cooking everybody has just been cooking so I've just been eating everything and I feel like one thing that has helped me gain I feel like the reason why I look thicker this time than before is because I mean obviously we're on lockdown so I'm literally not out and about and I'm not really working out either um workout please I did get like a little gut but I'm hold on Okay, so one, I've lived in my waist trainer. My waist trainer hasn't really left my stomach. And I know I'm not big on working out. Like, I was consistent for maybe like three weeks. So actually, yeah, for the first three weeks taken out, I was pretty consistent working out. So I feel like that kind of helped too because I was working out every single day when I woke up. Um, yeah, I was just working out. My waist trainer was constantly on. So I just bought this and focus. It's a hot cream, right? But it's supposed to, um, what else is this thing supposed to do? Yeah, it's like a skin toning type of cream or whatever. And I've been putting that on my stomach now, then my waist trainer, and it gives you like a weird like tingly sensation, but it makes me sweat more. And I feel like that has helped because I've kind of fallen off from working out. Now I just kind of do my stomach workouts because I just can't be bothered doing a full body workout, TBH. So I just focus on my stomach because that's really the only thing I want to focus on. Like the rest of my body is fine. Like a lot of weight went to my butt and my thighs, which y'all will see. And um, my whole thing was just like the stomach gut thing. So I've been drinking lemon water consistently because I know that helps. Um, I'll put apple cider vinegar in my water. I also at night drank this detox tea. Um, it's kind of like one of those flat tummy tea things, but you're supposed to drink the detox tea and then the fat burn tea. I don't drink the fat burning tea because I don't want to really burn fat. I mean, in my stomach, yeah, but that's why I just do the detox tea. So that is all I've been doing this time around. But I have been eating pasta. Pasta, 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 pasta is the key to success, guys. Like, my mom is like a big pasta person. Like, okay, I don't want her to hear me but my stepdad is like the cook of the house. You get what I'm saying? Like my mom cooks, but she's definitely like your typical woman. Like all I do is make pasta, right? So all she does is make pasta. But I love pasta. I love Italian food. Pasta is like my number one go-to. So I do not complain. Give me all the pasta, sis. So literally almost every other day she's made like a pasta and you know my stuff that has been making a lot of like chickens and meats and stuff like last night we had fajitas but then I also had pasta and chili so they've just been making a lot of things that are high in calorie count and I also um well well yeah I've also been drinking this protein powder not every day but I have incorporated it in my routine so maybe like once a week it's only an additional 230 calories anyway but um it does help I'm going to mention it to you guys because that's what I've been doing so other than that that's really about it like I said everything I've been eating has been fattening um I I mean yeah like I've been eating fast food you know I try not to eat as much fast food especially since my parents have been cooking but from time to time you know we'll order fast food as a household like today we got KFC can't wait to dive into that but um 
yeah that's really i've just been eating a lot of fattening foods so like i said i did get a gut like you're going to like there's i don't think i've seen any epitamin video where someone said they didn't get a gut unless they were working out but you do get a gut you get what i'm saying so it's really just how you want to control that area but other than that my weight has distributed really nicely like it kind of distributed how it distributed the first time so i'm very happy about that um I'm trying to think about what else I've been doing, but that's really it. Just be consistent. Of course, I religiously take two pills a day, one kind of whenever I wake up. I was gonna say in the morning, but I've been waking up at like two o'clock in the afternoon. So take one whenever you get up, and then I take one maybe around like from between seven to nine o'clock is when I'll take some. Oh, and I also eat a lot before I go to bed like last night I had two bowls of chili because once you go to sleep your body isn't working like it's not burning those calories so I feel like oh, excuse me so I feel like that's what's been helping too is because I've been eating like decent sized meals before I go to sleep so the weight's just sticking to me you get what I'm saying like I said I live in my waist trainer so I feel like I'm being really repetitive but there's not really anything else I need to tell you guys I'm probably going to come into an update next month because like I said, I'm gonna order two more packs and then I'm done. And I'll probably come back with an update then to see how much weight I've gained. But yeah, y'all know how I feel about a feed them in. It's my number one go-to, love that stuff. Um, just be careful with any other supplements you may be taking with. I mean, I take, with my feed them in, I also take um, turmeric pills, hyaluronic acid pills, um, biotin, and oh my elderberry vitamins because you know we we fight corona out here sis so and i've been pretty fine that was kind of my whole thing it's like i don't like taking a lot of pills at once especially since the pedamin you know it's not fda approved from what i recall so you know just be careful be smart so yeah that is all that is all i have to say about a pedamin today um you know if you guys have questions just dm me I usually respond unless you guys ask me questions that I have addressed in the video because y'all do that and I don't understand what that's about. Watch the video and then ask me questions because nine times out of 10, I have answered your questions in my videos and not this video, my other two videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and 